What's good, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters of the leaf, I just like to welcome you today. Thank you so very much for joining me. My name is Michael Brown, alias the Hat Ambassador, the man behind the brand, Hats and Cigars. We bring you cigar centric hat pins, hat accessories and cigar accessories, as well as the author of the new book, Hats and Cigars, Flaring and Pairing. And if you don't already know, my motto is, keep a cigar in your grip, a drink at your lips, and a hat for your fit. And that's how we do it. So with that being said, I wanna get right into my first impression video of the CAO Steel Horse A Banger. Okay, so the CAO Steel Horse A Banger. I mean, what can I say? Right off the bat, I mean, just looking at the cigar itself, I mean, doing my tactile inspection of it, the, uh, the feel um, of the cigar is nice. The wrapper is, is beautiful. It looks amazing. Construction looks great. Tobacco smells wonderful. I mean, I'm anxious to smoke it. Something I've never had from, from CAO, so uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm ready to get into it, so uh, uh, let's get it cut and light him up. All right, so I'm ready to get it cut. Got my uh, guillotine here. Always like a nice uh, straight cut. So there we go. Always get a beautiful cap off the cut. I always want to make sure you get a, um, a great cut on your cigars. And as you can see, I'm broadcasting live from beautiful Miami Beach. As you can see here in the backdrop, I'm off the balcony and whatnot. And always, uh, anytime I'm outside, of course, uh, I'm going to use a torch. So I've got my torch here. Let's, uh, I, mean, I always recommend you know taking your time on getting the cigar lit, proper light on the cigar. Will always give you a much better enjoyable smoke. Nice. Right off the bat, just just my initial thought on it is already great to go already. I mean, that's just the first thing that hit me. Just. draw is great pleasantly surprised you know what I mean I mean you know when you try something for the first time you've never had it before you really don't know what to expect or what experience you're gonna get so um, I'm saying I'm looking forward to uh, getting further into this and really seeing what I get out of it you know I always like to uh, pair a cigar when I'm smoking it. So today, I'm actually going to be pairing it with some Hennessy Master Blenders 4. I'll kind of wait a little bit till I get more into the first third um, to start uh, bringing in the cognac, but uh, I think I'm gonna get a nice, uh, a nice pairing out of this. Um, definitely say this is
medium to full body. It's not overly strong. I mean, kind of at least right now, right at the beginning, kind of in my sweet spot of where I like um, my cigar strength wise. So uh, at least with that so far. So far it's great. Now, sometimes what will happen is, of course, when you're out, outside in the elements like I am, uh, you can get an uneven burn. Or, like I said, take your time. Make sure you do get your, your light right so that it burns nice and evenly. That's one thing I do want to kind of, you know, keep an eye on since I am outside. And also, um, you know, just to see how the cigar burns itself. Now what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna look up, um, if you don't mind, just gonna read some information about the CAO Steel Horse, just to kind of give you some some background on that. The, it's a spinoff, of course, of the, uh, the flat headline um, that's very well known from CAO. Um, this is a medium to full body cigar, easy smoking flavors of leather and spice. And so the wrapper, on this is a Connecticut Habano Grueso. Binder is Brazilian Arapiraca. Fillers are Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan. Uh, it's like I said, it's medium to full body. And the tasty notes that they give you are oak, coffee, spice, pepper, and chocolate. And I can indeed kind of pick up some of that pepper in there really not so much on the coffee or the, the chocolate just as of yet. But we'll kind of see where that goes. Also, they kind of note on here that uh, a good drink pairing with this is either aged rum or uh, a rye whiskey. You know, me in particular, my preference is always going to be cognac. Uh, so like I said, I'm, I'm Pairing that with the Hennessy Master Blender series number four. And I think it's about time that we take a sip. Let's see how, how it goes with this. Smoke production off this is, is beautiful. Well, it, it, and it goes very, very nice with the uh, with the cognac. So I'm, I'm pleased uh, to see how well it's going so far. I'm going to continue smoking, get a little further in the uh, first third, and uh, you know we'll see if anything happens different, if it changes at all, or how that smoke's going. All right. You know, I do have to say that uh, being out here on the balcony, one of my favorite places to smoke, I think that's probably when I get my most relaxed smoke is when I'm out here on the balcony. I can just kind of kick back, you know what I'm saying? Have my drink, something to sip on, just kind of unwind especially when you have a, a, a beautiful, beautiful scenery like this to, to look at while you're enjoying your cigar. You know, with there being so many different cigars out there on the market, different brands, different cigars, different Vitolas, different blends, anytime you just kind of pick up a cigar you've never had before, you really never know what you're gonna get whether or not you're gonna like it, whether or not it's gonna fit your palate, whether or not it's gonna pair well with whatever you're drinking. But uh, I have to say, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I made this choice. They said it wouldn't be something I would normally try, um, but I wanted 
to do something that I've never had before, never really even, um, you know, thought about smoking. I had an interest in smoking and smoked that for my first impression video to really be able to give a sense of what my first impression is on it. Got the burn line worked out pretty good. Definitely looking good. Smoking good, tasting good. I can pick up um, some of the notes of oak. Still really haven't hit any coffee or chocolate notes that they that they mentioned. I guess maybe that's also probably a bad thing to <laughs> to look up and see what the the the, the profiles are on it. Um, some kind of ways it can kind of influence, I, I think, your experience and, and picking up notes uh, in the cigar. But not really been much in the CAO cigars. I think maybe I've only had a couple. Um, out of all the cigars I smoked, I haven't really, had, had, I'm not familiar with CAO. So it's kind of pleasant. Uh, Surprised to get into some CAOs and see what they're all about. It gives me an opportunity to, you know, to try something different, try something new, something I'm not really familiar with in terms of the brand. And so, you know, just kind of for me, gives me the opportunity to find new cigars. And so, um, you know, definitely going to be checking out some other um, products in the CAO line. Yeah, so far, I mean, this is, it's nice. You know, for a while now, I've actually been <laughs> trying to find something that paired well with the Hennessy Master Blender for, been a big fan of Hennessy and big fan of um, the previous Master Blenders, number three, one of my favorite uh, from Hennessy. And so since the Master Blender 4 had come out, I've been looking for something, a cigar that, that will pair well with it. And I think I might have found one. It's not always easy trying to find something that pairs. Anytime you're trying to put together a pairing, you're trying to find a cigar to pair with a particular spirit. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So the, to, to actually find that and, 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 and one that hits that sweet spot, you know when you find it. Uh, it's just amazing because, I mean, I go through a lot of cigars trying to find those pairings. And I mean, wow, I have to say this is uh, definitely complimenting uh, with the cognac very well. What I found from the Hennessy is, and I think why I haven't been able to really match um, a cigar with it, to me, it's not as smooth as some of the other Hennessy's. It has a, a bit of a bite to it, especially on the finish of it. Um, it stays on your palate. And smoking this particular cigar with it, for me, is mellowing out the cognac. So it's complementing it very well in that they are kind of marrying into each other and be, and as one between the smoke and the drink, which lets me know, like I said, that I've kind of hit my sweet spot there. It, it's the notes off of each other complement each other very well. Holding a nice ash on there. Beautiful. Second, third.
like I mentioned uh, at the beginning, looking at the rapper, and that makes me think about, like I said, in, in reading on the tobacco that they use for that, I, I've never heard of um, Connecticut Habano Grueso rapper on a cigar. So definitely pleased with that. Also, it said that the binder is Brazilian Arapiraca. Big fan of the Brazilian tobacco. It's always nice when you can find new cigars to smoke, new experiences to have, new pairings. There's so much out there available that, I mean, it's like the, the possibilities are endless on the cigars that you can have and enjoy. All different price range, all different types of construction, all different types of blend. I think I may have found it with this one. Definitely enjoying it. Moving into the second third of this, it's starting to get smoother for me. I would assume that's probably be because of the pairing. I'm getting a creaminess in the smoke. Of course, anytime you're outside smoking, you may have to touch up the cigar just a bit. The burn starts to get away from you. It's always kind of difficult out here on the balcony because I got the wind, but it's burning great. Ash is holding quite nicely. Able to get a little retro hell in there. I mean, I had to be honest, I'm not that good at retro hailing. I don't do it often. I did want to do it with this, see if I could pick up any of the other notes. A little bit strong for me on the retro hell, but still all good. I mean, If anything, I'd say I think on the retro hill I could pick up the woodiness. Um, CAO mentioned that the uh, that there was notes of oak in there, so I think that's kind of what I'm picking up on the retro hill, the woodiness, the oak um, of the cigar. Definitely want to take a sip <laughs> after that retro hill kind of got me, I, I must admit, but I mean, Beautiful ash. I mean, holding nicely. And there goes the ash. Just as I was admiring it. <laughs> and there it goes. So as I'm getting closer to the band, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Start working my way into the final third. You know, I didn't mention before the size of this Vitola, the ape hanger, is a five and three quarters by 54. The line itself, Steel Horse, comes in four different Vitolas. Uh, they've got the handbrake, four and a half by 50. The ape hanger, which I'm smoking, five and three quarters by 54. Uh, they've also got a roadkill that's a 6x60, six and then the bull neck, which is a 6 and a half by 52 I'm definitely glad I made this choice. Ape Hanger has proven to be an exceptional cigar. Full body, 
medium to full body. I really don't feel like I've gotten a crazy amount of strength out of it. It's nice, definitely a great blend. All right, so I'd say we're starting to get into the final third of this. Definitely mellowed out. I would say the seems like the full body was at the beginning. As you get further through it, it starts to mellow out. It seems like that's where the medium body starts to come in. Normally, as you would get through a cigar through the thirds, you would think that getting into that final third, the strength would pick up. It would get more full flavor and full body. But with this, it seems to mellow out some. Still smoking great, lovely. Burn is still good. I mean, overall, I mean, I'd have to put this up there. You know, I mean, if I was saying on a scale of one to 10, I mean, this definitely had to be up there eight or nine, I'd say. You know, you get some of the sweetness from the Hennessy. Like I said, the bite is kind of gone from the Hennessy. You get the kind of sweetness when you take a sip and then come back to the cigar. It gives you a kind of sweetness in your mouth smoke which is creamy from the cigar gives you a good mouth feel with the smoke you know it's something you know when you smoke a cigar take the time to admire it, to appreciate the experience that you have while smoking it. Not sure if you notice, I'm always studying the cigar while I'm smoking it, looking at it, watching the burn, looking at the ash, wrapper pleasant experience you know it's a perfect way for me to enjoy a beautifully made well constructed cigar right here on the balcony And I'm able to, in some kind of way, just kind of bring that experience to you. In the hopes that maybe you'll go out, if you haven't already tried the Steel Horse Apang or any of the cigars in the Steel Horse line, maybe this will prompt you to try one. Go out, seek it out. You know, like uh, the title of my book, Hats and Cigars, Flaring and Pairing. You know, that's what it's all about for me. Of course, as you know, I'm the hat ambassador. So any hat I'm wearing, I definitely gotta have that flair. And any cigar I'm smoking, definitely going to accompany that with a nice pairing. Pretty impressive, I mean, in terms of the construction. First ash held pretty much all the way to the second third before falling off. This ash is holding beautifully as well. Burn is nice and slow on this. You know, when you can take your time smoking a cigar 
think Davidoff has a tagline, time beautifully filled. So I think overall for my first impression on this is beautiful smoke, tasty cigar. I'm getting to the end of the cigar, definitely picking up a little heat, probably because I have been smoking it kind of fast, but I'm just enjoying it so much. Can't get enough of it, it's great. These two, the CAO Steel Horse and the Hennessy Master Blender number four, go perfect together. Cigar is smooth all the way through. I also got to say I enjoyed bringing you this first impression video. When I first came on, the first thing I asked you was, what's good? And when it comes to this first impression video, I have to say the CAO, Steel Horse Ape Hanger, is what's good. Again, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me. My name is Michael Brown, alias the Hat Ambassador. And as you already should know, keep a cigar in your grip a drink at your lips, and a hat for your fit. This is Hassan Cigars, baby. What's good? First impression video of the CAO Steel Horse <coughs> Ape Hanger. It's been a pleasure. And we out.